Go to the effects menu and down to Esoterica and Growth. And you've got this panel, it's got a lot of functionality. And you can change the color when you apply the brush stroke or the design. You can use the mixer panel to do that. Just go to the top or use that image in the mixer panel. And you'll find that in color and layers. And you see, when you apply it in the document, if you go with brown or green, you can apply it there. There's a whole load of different settings, flatness and thin out. The key one is below preview, there's the fractal setting as well as hard edges. Turn hard edges off. You can also modify the thickness so you can get a thicker design. And you can apply it on top of it, different positions, doesn't matter. Change the color again, and you can go to thickness or branch. You can increase the branch. You get some real complex designs by increasing the branch. Also max level. If you bring that up, it really looks intense. Or you can reduce it down to get a more symmetrical looking design. So max level, put it to about four or five. And again, continue to apply it. And then again, change the color via the mixer panel. And also you can modify the fork as well as fork ratio. There's a lot of different settings. It's a pity there's no randomization feature. That would be really nice. So you could randomize all the settings. But you can just go through them, just try them out. You've got a really useful preview that does actually match the end result. So fork ratio, increase or decrease to get that result. And apply again. And you can fill the entire document with that. Go for red or yellow and so on. And again, just keep changing max, max levels. If you increase max levels too high, I think it's a bit messy. Click OK in the end. But what you can also do is go to effects and focus and glass distortion. And you can see the default, it's always paper, which is a pity. I wish it was the last one used, but image luminance. So using image luminance, you can change the softness, really increase it, you just push it up to about 20 and it creates some really amazing designs and change the amount and you can see the result again you just vary it you can create all kinds of like watercolor sort of as if the water sort of spread out but you could also go to map and change it to vector displacement not so effective but angle displace displacement is very effective and again you can modify the softness to create nice smooth swirly like oil paint in photoshop you can change the quality, but you can also change the amount and variance. Direction is not. So click OK and there's your applied effect. Now you can apply it again. Go to effects and glass distortion. Apply it once again. Again, unfortunately, it comes up with their image luminance. And you can then set the settings for refraction or set it to angle displacement again. Apply again. Change the amount. Now you can push it too far or and just try it. Again, it would be lovely if there was a randomization feature, but literally millions of different designs can be created by just modifying variants as well as mount and click OK. Then go to effects and tonal control and down to equalize. And you can also, of course, modify the gamma, but you can also modify the black and white points as well and click OK. And there's your end result.